This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Schedules, filter, sorting, and grouping. All right, picking up where we left off. We're going to save as 2002. Okay, let me save as again, 2002 complete. So we're still refining the area schedules. We're talking about schedules right now, and we're going to talk about filtering, sort, and group. Okay, so let's take this opportunity to make a sheet, and then we're going to work right off the sheet. So if I go to A103, so we've got A103 here, A104. Let's make another sheet. Let's go new sheet. We're going to use our title block that we made and we're just going to right click on that, rename it. We're going to call this one floor finishes. Okay, now let's take our floor finish view, drag and drop that on. Good. And then let's take our schedule and drop that onto the sheet. I'd like to refine this view a little bit too. So just in way of review, I'm going to right click and activate this view right on the sheet. And I'm going to right click and just hide that section there. So we'll hide that category. Right click, deactivate view. That's a little better. Let's put it up a little bit more centered. And then I'm going to just click on the viewport and drag that line back. Again, that's clicking on the viewport. Then you get the line. Okay, this is our schedule. You always got to leave room for these schedules to grow on the sheet. You could get a lot more headings and you might need more room. So they will grow themselves as you change things. Okay, good. So that's a good start. Let's now go to our root view for this schedule. So that's actually just under schedules and then copy of area schedule. So let's refine this a little bit. We're talking about filtering, sorting, and grouping. What do we want to do here? Well, maybe we just want to sort it by the name of the finish. So I'm going to click under sorting and grouping. And I can say sort by name. Then I'll say OK. OK, so notice it's now grouping those objects together. Let's click on sorting and grouping again. What if I was to say don't itemize every instance? So I uncheck this. Then I say OK to that. Now what it's doing is it's just giving me the name. Now notice I have ceramic and ceramic tile. So it's thinking of those as two separate headings. Maybe we call this one slate tile. Now keep in mind, if I go back to my sheet, all of the changes that I've made are changing live here. So this is slate tile, hardwood, ceramic tile, and so on. Okay, let's just scroll back up and go to our schedule again. Double click on that. Now notice this is giving me the area, but this is not giving the total area. Why is that? Well, there's only one ceramic tile area, but there's two hardwoods. So it's basically saying here, well, there's two and you haven't told me to calculate the total, so I'm not giving you anything. So let's click on sorting and grouping, and we're going to click on grand totals. We're also going to sneak over here into formatting, and we're going to go to area and just choose calculate totals, and then say OK. OK, so grand totals gives us this factor down here and this factor there. The formatting calculate totals gives us that factor. So we've done some sorting and grouping, but what about filtering? Well, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go up to Home, Area, Area Plan. We're going to choose Floor Finishes, but this time we're going to choose Finish Floor 2. OK. Would you like to create boundary lines with external walls? I'm going to say no. And what we're going to do is just draw in some finishes up here on the second floor. And this is in the existing space. So I'm going to go to Area, Area Boundary Line. I'm going to do a big rectangle here going to do some drawing just around the stairs. Okay, I'm going to have to actually trace that arc. And let's extend that down. Let's move that out to there. Good. Now this right here, that actually should be fine. If we click on area and then area, let's just drop that in. Now I'm going to click right here and call this hardwood. Okay, we could put a legend on there if we wanted to. 
Now, why are we doing this? Because I want to mess up our schedule a little bit. So if we click on copy of area floor schedules, first of all, let's just rename this. We're going to call this one floor finish schedule. Good. That's been renamed. Now notice it says level and it's blank. That's because we now have a top of finish floor two as well as a top of finish floor one. If we go back to our previous area schedule under schedule quantities, area schedule, floor finishes. Notice under level, we've got top of finished floor two, and there's a hardwood up there as well. But maybe we only want to do level one. So let's go back here to floor finish schedule. What we're going to do is let's duplicate that view, leave that off to the side, and this one we're going to just rename floor finish schedule floor one. Let's just confirm that this is all updating on our A105. So this is floor finish schedule floor one. We've got this erroneous level here and our area is actually calculating everything. So let's go back to floor finish schedule floor one. And this is where filter comes along. So we're gonna click on edit. And what we can do is we can say filter by level. So anything we've chosen in here, you can filter by that. You can say, just tell me in this particular schedule, the finishes that are on finish floor one. So the level equals finish floor one. Okay. That's all that's there. Now we could have it filter by area type. So only the hardwood, only the ceramic, and so on. Now we could make another one. We could just right click on this, say duplicate view. And in this one, I'm going to just rename it right away. I'll call it floor finish schedule floor two. Okay. Then I'm going to go into filter. I'm going to say, if the level equals floor two, then show me. So finish floor two, great. There's just one style on there, name of the flooring, and there's its area. Okay, so let's go back to A105. So now we have first floor schedule. We have a nice little legend right here, and we have a nice color fill. Let's just activate this view before we're done. If you do want to change the hatch on this, it's possible. You just click on the legend, click on edit scheme. And you can go in here and say, you know, I want to show ceramic tile as crosshatch, and I want to show hardwood as vertical. Then we say OK. OK, when you zoom in, now you can actually see a little bit more of the hatch. Now there's hardwood over here. Now that's showing the floor. So we're going to want to make sure that we turn off the floor finishes. So let's just go into VV and under floors. I'm going to click under floors. And then under Patterns, I'm going to click Override and turn those invisible. OK and OK. Now that floor that we actually drew in there is not interfering with our sort of proposed floor schedule. OK, so we can deactivate the view. OK, so that's good. Let's save what we've done. We can close that down.